Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift in Educational Comedy. And it seems that TSU has gotten a facelift. And I'm about to show you that. And kind of give you a little tour. For those of you who are familiar with the way the interface has looked, um, even though it was pretty great and so simple that any idiot could manage to use it, there was, of course, one minor complaint about it. And that being simply that though it was simple, it just wasn't the type of thing that people were really used to using. So it had kind of a, a level of annoyance to it within that because there was just a little bit of cognitive dissonance going on with that and just wasn't quite used to what people are using. Now, for people who use TSU via cell phone for the cellular interface, I have no idea what that looked like, and I have no idea what it might look like now, so I can't speak on that. So any of you who use the cellular interface can comment on that, but I don't, so I, I couldn't tell you. Um, but for those who, you know, use the regular, you know, PC interface like this, um, you might recognize some differences here. We have kind of a YouTube-ish, Google-ish, Facebook-ish, more compliant look, you might say. Um, you know, we got the little icon here that you click, profile, settings, um, find friends, family tree, fact, advertising, sign out. So that's kind of more towards, you know, the 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 Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus sort of look. Um, you click there and, and there's all your notifications and they come up a bit bigger and look a little more a little more streamlined and, and you know, just kind of the feel of the way the, the boxes are and stuff. It's a little less draggy than it used to be. Um, of course, when we click here. This interface looks basically the same as it did before, although it seems to flow a little smoother than it did, but it looks basically the same. Um, of course, they eliminated the predominantly green um, background and made it a white background, and they're putting the green to the foreground. Now... You can also see that, you know, the main header here uh, got a bit of a facelift. Um, and uh, this is obviously, you know, this profile is mine. So this is the view when, you know, it's your own profile. Let's uh, take a look at what it looks like when it's somebody else's. Okay. So... You got the little friend thing here, following, message, transfer fun. You know, you click there and you got your options, report block, uh, friends, followers, so on and so forth. And, you know, you can click through the, uh, the various options as usual. You know, here is the, uh, the photo options. And it seems to, to do a better job of streaming the content than it did before. So, you know, load more, do, 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 do. So that seems a bit smoother than it used to be. Uh, this used to be a bit more draggy. Now it does seem, you know, quite a bit smoother. As we can see, going forward, going forward, going forward, going forward. Quite a bit smoother. Apparently, sometimes it auto-loads when you scroll down and... Other times, got to click the little, you know, green bar at the bottom for uh, for loading more. So apparently, that's a minor glitch, but you know, nothing to be horribly concerned about. It's it's really not that big deal. If it doesn't auto scroll, then obviously you still have you know the the green bar down there. 
that you know you could totally click and you know that works just fine okay that time it auto loaded so now let's go back up um, click on friends so that view is still basically the same except now it looks a little a little bigger a little clearer um, a little more streamlined than it did and it seems to flow smoother than it did before so again you've got obvious improvements within this section as well I would presume that followers and following is much the same yeah there we go so yeah it's a the, it's a bit bigger it's a bit clearer you know it's a bit easier to follow um, it's a bit less shaky than it was so that's cool you know definite improvements there now when we actually scroll to the the main page content here you know we see the you know totally recognizable you know usual stuff with you know the titles this that and the other although whereas the top header used to be to be green um now it's black and white and the um you know the hyperlinks and stuff like that those are green you know we've got our options for you know uh likes and if I click on there and notice that changed to two, so that subtract the like, and I click there and that adds it back. Um, this obviously tells you how many comments there are, and that is the share button. Of course, it's my post, so I can't share it. Um, but if this is somebody else's page, then you know you click that, and the usual little box comes up asking whether or not you would like to share. The scroll through on the content for you know main page profiles as I'm as I'm scrolling through also appears to be less jittery, um, a little bit bigger, clearer text, better, clearer you know font display, all that kind of thing. And as I'm scrolling, it's it's not as you know jittery and laggy. You know it seems to to flow pretty damn smoothly so I'm just uh, demonstrating that everything seems to load pretty good now when we go to our family tree that still looks basically the same I mean obviously it's got the same sort of you know display and font you know changes and colors and all that sort of stuff that the main uh, profile page has undergone but beyond that essentially the listing still looks the same you know the family tree system still looks and functions exactly as it ever did Okay, I got, you know, 25 children, a total of 322 in my network, 779 followers, 1,031 friends. You know, we can see all of that. So that is still basically the same interface as it ever was. Let's go into the settings. I haven't, you know, been in there yet. Okay, that all looks basically the same. Um, I would imagine the FAQ is the same. Yeah, that looks the same. I mean, obviously it's undergone the same, you know, font and colors and, you know, all of those sorts of changes as per the main template, but the FAQ section still looks like it is operating the same way as it ever did. So this is definitely a lot more streamlined, um, less jittery, and it's made to be more familiar 
and it's and it's interface to people who are more used to operating in the Facebook, Google, YouTube sort of realm of things. It's made to be a bit more compliant with that. Um, obviously, another change is you know the uh, the page description and you know site information and all that is now over here. It used to be up in here. It no longer is, obviously. Now it's in the in the top box thingy here. So I would say that the changes that were made are good ones. Um, I can only see beneficial changes. I don't see any changes that add any annoyances or detriments. Um, it's all good. You know, I, I like it. You know, and of course, when we click into, uh, you know, to add a post and whatever. Um, these functions are still the same. You know, you click the Facebook to make sure it posts to Facebook or the Twitter if you have that, you want it to, to share to that. So those functions are all still the same. So that has not changed. So yeah, I guess that concludes our overview. Um, this is not a, a hangout that has to be long. I just wanted to give a, a basic overview of the cosmetic changes, um, especially for people who might have made an account and didn't really care for the interface and they still have the account, but they just haven't used it. And they're kind of like, nah, you know, because they didn't really care for the interface. Um, um, maybe now y'all might want to come back. Maybe you'll like this interface better. and Maybe you'll be like, oh, well, that's cool, you know. All right. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, little preview, and catch you later.